I have my Ruger 1022 here with me today and right now I have it zeroed in for 25 meters and today we're going to test out where our holdovers are supposed to be for different distances when it's zeroed at 25 meters. This is why I love the Ruger 1022. Right now that's my shooting setup there. I've got my shooting mat, rear bag, and the front bag right now. That's the shooting setup that I prefer. As you can see there, it's pretty accurate right now at 25 meters, which is where it's zeroed for. That's a 10 round group. And we basically punched out that entire middle bullseye there. I don't like shooting off of a, off of a lead sled. Yes, it does keep it very stable, but at the same time, it's like, when are you ever gonna use a lead sled? In the field never so we're gonna move this setup up to 10 meters now and see where our point of impact is going to be it's going to be below the point of aim where that's gonna be one inch or two inches we'll see all right so here we are at 10 meters I'm expecting the point of impact to be I don't know maybe two inches one and a half inches below the point of aim but we'll give it a shot and see where it lands All right, well, it was maybe half an inch, half an inch below point of aim because the three shots went right there. I guess at 10 meters, it's not as low as I thought it was going to be. Within 10 meters, I bet you anything it's going to be lower than that. But uh, I think that's good enough for me. Rather than testing out within 10 meters, which I'm probably never going to have a shot within 10 meters anyways. All right, here we are. At 15 meters, we'll take a couple shots here and then see where the point of impact is. So as you can see, once we start getting to 15 meters here, it's going to start climbing back up. Up until we get to 20, 25 meters, it's going to be right on the money. But basically, from 10 meters, within 10 meters, you're like an inch to two inches below point blank. You'd be like two inches, like right there, if you were to shoot point blank, just because the difference of the scope height and the barrel. Um, but anyway, 10 meters, within 10 meters, you're pretty much within an inch. And then once you start getting to 15, you're starting to climb back up. And then once you get to 20, 25, you're pretty much right there, center on the money right now. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna push her back to 30 or 35 meters, and then further back into 40, 50. Maybe we'll go, I don't know, we can, we might be able to get up to 75 meters here in this spot, we'll see. And then uh, see where the point of impact is at those further distances and record them so that I know exactly where to hold over on my scope the next time I'm out in the field. I'm actually using this thing on an actual small game hunt. All right guys, so I actually just went all the way straight back to 40, 40 meters over here, just because, you know, it's gonna be pretty close to 35, and then 30 meters is gonna be fairly close to 25 meters, which is where it's zeroed for. So I'm just gonna push it all the way back to 40, see where we hit here, and then we'll go 50, 60, out to 70-ish, if possible. So this is a 40 meter shot right here, let's go. All right, 40 meters, we're still aiming at the middle, middle bullseye there. 40 meters, we're still within that inch. That's insane. 
I wasn't expecting that. I thought we we're definitely going to start dropping quite a bit at 40 meters, but we're still within that inch range. Like, look at that, guys. That is an incre incredible grouping right there. It's still within an inch at 40 meters. Let's see how far it's going to drop at 50. Okay, well, let's see where our point of impact lands here at 50. Still aiming for that center bullseye, guys. Alright, coming up now, 50 meters. Oh yeah, it's still hitting well within that one inch right there. Well within one inch from point of aim, which is right in the center still within one inch that's insane guys so if you're wondering what distance is zero you're 22 at i mean realistically where what are the distances that you're mostly going to be shooting within because i'm probably going to be shooting within 25 to 50 meters so having mine zero to 25 meters that's perfect like that's a kill shot every time like anywhere within 50 meters right now is 100 percent the kill shot we're going to try to push it back a little further. I don't know if we can. If you guys can see behind me here, we got this hill back here. So I don't know how much further we can push it, but we're going to see if we can push it, uh, see if maybe I can get up on that little mound right there and see um, what distance that's going to be. That might be 60 or 70, I don't know. All right, found a way to get out to 75 meters right now. So right now we're at 75 meters, guys. Still going to be aiming at that center bullseye and see where the point of impact lands on that target. I don't know. Hard to guess this one. Maybe maybe two inches low. I don't know. I figured bullets probably going to start dropping around that fifth, past that 50 meter mark. So we're at 75 meters now. I'm going to guess about two inches low. Let's see where we hit. All right, that's three shots at 75 meters. So we'll run over there and see where we hit. Let's go. Whoa, okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit looser groups. That's 75 meters right there. One, two, and three. So we are one, two, three. Maybe, yeah, average four inches below the point of aim. That's insane. So 60 meters, you're probably gonna be, I don't know, two or three inches below your point of aim. Okay, that's probably as far as we're gonna take it. I don't think I'm gonna be taking shots past 75 meters. So what we'll do is we'll move it forward now to 60 meters and see where the point of impact is at 60 meters. I think it's probably gonna be around two and a half, three inches uh, below the point of aim since it's four inches at 75 meters below the point of aim. And then you can see that group starting to open up there a little bit. It's not as tight, but within 50 meters, we are like, you know, as tight as a dime within 50 meters. So come closer a bit to 60 and see where the point of impact is there. And we're recording all of this as we're, we're recording all of this data as we're doing this guys so we know where to hold over um, the next time we're out in the field so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna aim down my sights here again and then see where that point of impact was and see which hash marks on my scope reticle is uh, equivalent to where the actual point of impact is from back here at 75 meters so we're now up at 60 meters right here and uh, we're gonna see where the point of impact is at 60. And I think 75 meters is kind of the max we're gonna do um, distance wise. I don't think I'll ever take shots further than six, 75 meters. So we're gonna see where the point of impact is at 60 here. At 75 meters though, FYI on my scope reticle, it's gonna be that first hash mark below the very center. So 60 meters right now, we're gonna see where the point of impact is over here. Let's go.
let's go see where that hit. All right, coming up now on the six meter group. That was the 70 meters down here, right? 60 meters was here, here, and here. So average two inches. It's kind of halfway up the hash mark where 75 is, halfway up over here. So in the middle of the center of the reticle and the first hash mark, which lands down here, right in the middle right there, that would be the 60 meter mark for us. As you guys can see, groups start to open up after 50 meters. That's the gist of it. If you guys are wondering what distance to zero you're 22 at, I would say 25 meters is probably your best bet. 25 meters, 25 yards, whatever you shoot, whatever you measure with, especially if you guys are just shooting within that 50 to 75 within 75 yards or 75 meters like I am. And uh, I think most small game you're gonna take is probably gonna be within that range anyways. So I would say, yeah guys, zero it at 25 meters. That's gonna do it for today's video though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on this video, um, comment, you know, help me out. It's free to leave a like, it's free to leave a comment. Help me out guys. Check out the rest of my videos as well on my channel. And if you enjoy the rest of my videos and my content and you wanna see more content like this, I do all kinds of outdoor content, whether it's shooting, fishing, hunting, trapping, whatever outdoors. If you guys wanna see more of that type of content, check out the rest of my videos on my channel. And if you guys enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button as well. That's gonna do it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.